Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by my YouTube channel today where I'll be doing final testing on Jeff's Quadrifier brand pellet stove controller. This controller is a model TASSB-93V.12A. Jeff sent me this controller and indicated to me that the combustion fan was always on. He could not get it to shut off unless he unplugged the stove from the wall outlet. So he sent me the controller. After receiving the controller, I did some testing on it and found that I was able to duplicate the problem that Jeff related to me. The combustion fan was always on. I did some troubleshooting, found the failed component, replaced that, and it's functional again. So it's time to do the final test before returning it to Jeff. I currently have the controller connected to my tester. I use a wiring harness to do that. It also connects it to a temperature simulator which simulates a K-type thermocouple. As you can see, I have it set to 66 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a thermostat. I have an LED indicator that shows if we're calling for heat or not. And I have four light bulbs that simulate the different functions on your stove. The igniter, the combustion fan, the auger motor, and the convection or room fan. I'm currently calling for heat and my timers have all elapsed. I've written on the box here the different timers that I've already pre-tested and they all function correctly. I've also written on the box that the green light on the side of the controller here comes on at approximately 275 degrees Fahrenheit and the red light also on the side of the box will come on at 1125 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see by the light I'm currently calling for heat but all my lights are off so basically the temperature of the fire pit has not increased so the controller has gone into idle mode. Let's go ahead and do another call for heat. I'll turn that off and turn that back on. Thermostat is now calling for heat and we can see that again with the green light and we're at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. We see that that called for the igniter to come on, the combustion fan is running and so is the auger motor dropping pellets into the fire pit. We'll stay in this mode for approximately two minutes and at that time the auger will get shut off by the controller. I know that happens, that's been pre-tested as I noted. So let me increase the temperature of the fire and we'll go up to about 275 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll see the green light here come on. 190, 200... And we see the green light come on there at approximately 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll leave it in that mode for a little bit. Nothing has changed. If I increase the temperature up to 1125 degrees Fahrenheit, things will change. We'll see the red light come on and we see that the igniter has been shut off. That's basically saying that the temperature of the fire is hot enough. There's no need to be using electricity to keep the igniter going. If we leave it in this way, the auger motor will continue feeding pellets into the fire pit and the fire will continue roaring. The temperature will get hotter and hotter and that will cause eventually the room to warm up and the thermostat will come into play and shut itself off. So as it shuts itself off we no longer get a call for heat and we see that the auger motor has stopped driving pellets. We'll stay in this way, the temperature of the fire will drop a little bit. We'll see that the room will also cool and the thermostat will come back into play and call for heat one more time. We see the call for heat light is on and the auger starts driving more pellets into the fire pit. That again will cause the fire to roar and the room will warm up. That cycle will continue on and on as long as there are pellets in the hopper and no one is adjusting the temperature of the thermostat. If somebody wants to turn off the cycle then all they need to do is turn off the thermostat. That'll stop the auger from driving pellets into the fire pit. The combustion fan will continue running until the temperature of the fire drops and drops and drops back to room temperature and we see that the lights on the side of our control box drop and we'll lose the green light and we get to a room temperature of about 61 degrees Fahrenheit. The combustion fan will continue to run for another 14 minutes as I noted on the controller and eventually shut itself off and wait for further input from the thermostat. So Jeff, there we have it. Your controller is once again fully functional. I'm ready to return this back to you. 
As I noted earlier, I want to thank you for sending it to me for repairs. I appreciate that. And if you have any questions about installation, be sure to let me know. For all you viewers out there, if you have questions about your own pellet stove controller, whether it's a Quadrifier or some other brand, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section of this video. If you have a pellet controller that you need repaired and you want to contact me, check through the video description for this video. There you'll see a link where you'll find my contact information. I do hope that you'll take the time to leave a thumbs up for this video and that you subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that very much. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.